everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Uh, today, we have a bit of a whip and chat. Um, I don't have a whole lot left in this section, as you can see. So, let's see if we can finish that up while we chat. A few boring housekeeping tips. If you hear noise directly to my left, I do have a fan running. Um, if you hear any tiny human noises, I do record this while she is sleeping or sleeping. Currently, she is actually taking a nap. Shh, don't tell her, though. Um... And that's it. Oh, and if you guys hear the beeping, I, I use a timer. So, before I get into this, yes, this is real life, okay? That's, that's, that's my mess. That's my clutter. So, um, I do have a notebook here. And if you guys, if my audio starts to trail off, let's try to readjust you a little bit. Um, it's simply because I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I'm hitting everything that I want to hit. So, um, let's start with this guy. And this is my, see if you can see that better, my drill tray from Shiny Shazza on Etsy. I will, if I remember, link it down below. Um, and that's my logo, you guys. I'm really excited. So, let me grab a pen. I've got like 52 pens on my desk right now. I'm kind of wavering between two pens. Um... Because I'm using multiple tips. Anyway, what color did I just pick? As usual, this is going to be me on the Hot Mess Express. And actually, let's see. I am filming this during the day, but... No, keep that off. So, I, uh... I'm really excited. Um, when I am filming this, this is on Saturday... Uh, my birthday was yesterday, and I just got out of the Lazy River Drop. So, shout out to Matt and Steph. If you guys don't know about Lazy River, this is a Lazy River pen. Um, I'm sure I've got a bunch of them sitting on my desk here. This is one. This is one. This is one. I've got a few. I've got quite a few. Um, Matt and Stephanie are the kindest, sweetest, most generous human beings on the planet. And Matt started turning pens for his wife, Stephanie. And I will leave the link for the shop down below. Um, he does them in drop style. So if there's nothing in there, it's because everything's sold out. Now, okay. I'm going between pens here, um, and I'll talk about this one in a second. Um, but they just did a drop, and in like 10 minutes, they sold out completely. And they are such sweet, wonderful, loving human beings, and I'm really honored to call them both my friends. Um, they've been such a wonderful source of support for my husband and I, and, um, I couldn't be more thankful. I have been there since the beginning. I was lucky enough to actually test out one of their pens when he first started. So Stephanie is a diamond painter and an avid pen collector, and he thought, well, I could do this. So he bought a lathe and he started making pens to support her habit. <laughs> And then uh, they started selling them. And they're both such sweet, genuine people. And when I tell you today was amazing, they sold out in 10 or 11 minutes. And there were 30 pens. So I couldn't be more excited. But like I said, when I'm filming this, this is Saturday. Uh, I'm not sure when it's going up. But my birthday was yesterday. And that was fun and exciting. And I just want to say a special thank you to everyone who reached out to me, um, tagged me in their stories, commented on my posts, or sent me direct messages. And especially a huge, huge thank you to my girl, Melly, who sent me... The most beautiful card with such a generous gift in it. And my girl, Katie. Ooh, just... Anybody else do that? You think you have it at the right angle and then pew, they shoot everywhere. Um, so when I said I'll get back to this pen, 
part of the reason is because this was one of my lovely gifts from Katie. The fact that people who have never met me in real life and only know me through YouTube or Instagram um, or Facebook through my group, which um, if you guys ever are curious, that stuff's always linked down below. So if you want to come join the Facebook group, come join us. It's small. It's fun. It's super chill. Um, but anyway, she sent me some cover minders. There is definitely a hair there. Ooh -hoo. Concentration. All right. Um, what was you saying? Oh, she got me cover minders, um, a pen, all these beautiful and thoughtful gifts. And I was just blown away at the generosity. And if anyone ever tries to tell you that internet friends are not real friends, then they're making friends with the wrong internet friends. Because I will say the connections I've made through YouTube and Instagram are some of the people who I hold nearest and dearest in my in my world. Um, there are certain people who I will go to about issues in my real life, um, concerns or questions about stuff regarding my kid, and I'll go to people who've never met me or my child over people that I've met in real life. Um, I think for my husband and I, one of the big things is we found a lot of support with finding an amazing online support group. Um, if you or someone you know or love or care about has any kind of condition, okay, I don't want to say ailment because it might not be something, a sickness, that you require support on, the amount of online support groups is, it's almost overwhelming. And for us, we were able to find one for our daughter's um, airway disorder. But when you have parents who struggle through the same sensory issues that your kid does, and you can talk to them, you feel like you're not alone. Or if you have friends who have kids about the same age, and they're all tearing everything apart, it is so meaningful and um don't mind me as i'm looking for a color that i need one drill of and i found it it's pretty quick um so i am beyond thankful for all of the connections i've made and i truly 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 cannot convey how much it all means to me i i I know you guys are probably watching this and some of you are probably thinking, wow, she's really, really being genuine. And other people are probably like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot even begin to thank you guys enough for all of your love and support, not just on my birthday. It really, truly means everything to me. And, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Um, 2020 has not been a great year in the world in general. So I'm really happy that I have people by my side that can help me get through it with a little bit of laughter, a little bit of humor and raunchiness and support and love and all the things that, you know... Make it easier to get through the day. All right. So. That's the one problem. I always forget what color I'm trying to grab. So. I'm going to fill this one in. Let's empty this up. With that being said. Yesterday was my birthday. I'm probably going to mention that like a hundred times. Are you guys people who like birthdays? Or are you one of those people that's like. Ugh. It means I'm getting older. I love birthdays. Uh, I was very bummed that. You know, it was a quarantine birthday, but pretty much anyone who's had a birthday since March of 2020 has had a quarantine birthday, um, unless, you know, you don't follow the guidelines and you do you. Actually, don't do you. Wear a mask. Stay six feet apart. <laughs> Care for your, your fellow humans. Um, come on. 
I got these funnels with the drill tray and it is so helpful, especially because like this tray is um, spoutless, which I'm going to just waver between. I'm realizing all these drills I didn't finish. And that is why I don't put all my drills away. I either wait until the section I'm working on is done or there's just too much on the desk and it's overwhelming. So I know the thought of this gives some people anxiety. <laughs> Katie. Um, and that's cool. You know, it makes me jealous when people have organization skills and I'm over here like in a sea of cardboard trying to survive. But anyway, so we didn't do anything fun and exciting. I... Um, opened up my gifts live on Instagram, which was always fun. And I just was so excited to see the box Katie sent me. I got it, uh, last week and she requested that I wait until my birthday, but understood if I wasn't going to be able to make it. You know, some people just don't have the willpower. So I was like, all right, fine. I'll wait. And, uh, I did. like drills that fell all over my tray. Is anyone else like me that like 98% of their trash is just drills that have popped out of the tray or fallen on the ground or you don't know where it came from? Like, I don't know what you are. Actually, that was probably one I needed. Oh, well. Um, yeah, that's like all my trash is, it seems like. I'm always amazed when people are like, I have no trash. And I'm like, do you actually have no trash? Or you just don't have any trash drills? Because I have trash. I've got oodles of trash, but I have very few trash drills. Um, anyway, I digress. <laughs> As always, welcome aboard the Hot Mess Express. I will be your conductor. Join me. So, we weren't going to be going out or anything like that. Um, I already lost the drill. Phew. You guys, I thought I was being good by having a notepad with me this time and trying to stay organized. And here I am still being a hot mess. Never having a clue what's going on. All right. So, um, yesterday my kiddo was on like the best behavior ever which I swear is more useful of a gift than an actual gift all right We're... this is the one thing I hate about like coming to the end of a section I'm always finding stuff I missed so I'm gonna put this here oh my god there's another one <laughs> I'm going to put this here to remind me to do these when I'm done with this color. Um, anyway, so we, we knew we weren't going to be going anywhere or doing anything exciting. Um, but I was happy to spend the time with those I love and to feel appreciated. So, excuse me, my husband, I had requested from him a cookie cake a couple days ago. I really just wanted one. And I looked online. I could get one ordered. Like, you know, like the big, like, Nestle Toll House, just giant cookies? Yeah, great. They were, like, $40 to deliver. And I was like, uh, we get that from the market for, like, 10 bucks. So my husband's like, I don't think our market carries that. So he went to the market to get something, and he looked. And they had it. And, uh, we enjoyed that. We also, um... Had Thai food for dinner, which, so, I don't know if you guys do DoorDash or anything near you, but I live kind of in the middle of nowhere, so they didn't really have much in terms of delivery services pre-COVID out here, uh, and they just keep adding more restaurants to it, but eventually, sometimes they take restaurants away. Now, our Thai restaurant shares a wall with a restaurant, a Japanese restaurant. They are not owned by the same people as... No, they're not owned by the same people. Um, but they, they share a parking lot. They're, they're, the walls touch. It's the same building. 
They used to both be on DoorDash, and then all of a sudden, one day, the Thai restaurant went away. So we can place an order, and my husband can go pick it up. So we did that for dinner instead of him cooking, which I'm sure was a nice little break for him anyway. Um, and for those who don't know, my husband does, you know, 99% of the cooking in our house. Um, he enjoys it. I do not. I get very overwhelmed. I get a lot of anxiety. Um, trying to decide what to make is one thing. And then trying to cook while keeping a tiny human occupied. Why is it your kids don't want to be in the kitchen? And then all of a sudden you are opening the oven and they're like right there or like oh hey i'm sizzling something on the stove why are you over here oh hi mommy oh hi daddy like okay kiddo can we take three steps backwards no okay cool so since he's been home he's pretty much taken over that role and i know that i i take advantage of that um and i do apologize uh he just loves cooking and sometimes i just don't know how to get past my own anxieties with it. And it's it's to the point that it's it's like crippling anxiety for me that I get overwhelmed. And I, I have ended up many times, and this is like total real talk here, um, like in the corner of the kitchen just crying because I'm so overwhelmed. I just... Nothing ever works out the way I want it to. The prep time takes three times as long as it said it would. Something didn't happen right and it tastes awful or the worst. And if anybody is a parent out there, I'm sure they understand this. The worst is spending all this time and effort and energy making this gorgeous meal to have your child be like, no. Or in our case, throw. Uh, I love my daughter more than anything on the planet. But her re immediate response to anything is to throw. Hey, kiddo, what are you doing over there? Throw it. Are you done with your apple? Throw it. Did you want me to grab you something else? Throw it. It just, um, it's hard. It's exhausting. And we've done everything. I don't need you guys to give me, hey, have you tried this? Have you tried that? We've tried everything. We've tried acknowledging it. We've tried not acknowledging it. We've tried explaining what we want her to do instead we've shown her what we wanted to do instead we've done so many different things and it really nothing has worked and then her ot said you know throwing puts the kind of compression on her joints that she needs if anybody is well versed in sensory sensitivities or sensory processing disorder we deal with stuff with the vestibular and the proprioceptive um which if you're not this is going to be quick because i don't want to bore people who don't know what i'm talking about with boring things but in the long and short of it the movement of throwing the puts the pressure on her on her elbows on her shoulders and um they believe that's one of the reasons that that is her reaction. Um, anyway, so my husband got me beautiful flowers, which I posted on my Instagram, and they, they are gorgeous. Uh, fall colors, and it came in like a little wooden wagon. I mean, gorgeous. I felt so loved and so spoiled, and, um, and then the kiddo just had... Like, no tantrums, no meltdowns. Um, the best part was my flowers came with a balloon. And uh, she promptly commandeered that as her own balloon. And <laughs> last night, when I was taking her up to bed, she turned and looked towards the living room. Um, we were by the stairs, and she goes, Night, night, balloon. I was like, are you kidding me? You're you're blowing kisses to the balloon. What do you think the first thing was that she asked for this morning? If you said the balloon, you'd be right. Oh, man. So. <laughs> it made me giggle. It really made me giggle. But yesterday was wonderful. And I am so blessed and thankful for um, the time I spent with my husband and our daughter, and the time that everybody else took out of their day to to wish us, to wish me well. 
um, you guys have no idea how much that truly, truly means to me. And so I will say it over and over again, but from the bottom of my heart, I thank you all so much. So, um, there's that. What else do I have? So I mentioned Lazy River earlier, and I just want to say, if you guys want to be in the know, make sure you follow Lazy River on Instagram, uh, lazy underscore river underscore WT. I have the link in my description. Uh, sign up for the newsletter on their website. That way you get the alerts of when they're going to do pen drops. And then you need fast fingers, okay? I don't know if anybody else has experienced this in their life, in their world. This is one of those things that you can't debate back and forth. Do I want this? Do I not want this? If you want it, you put it in the cart, you check out. If you want more than one thing, sometimes it might be worth it to just order the thing you want the most, check out, and then try to get the other. But when I say you need fast fingers, I mean you need fast fingers. I had something in my cart at 3 o'clock, which is when the drop went live, and checked out at 3 o'clock, and it was already sold out, the one pen. Um, I was very lucky to get another pen, um, so hopefully you guys will be seeing that in an upcoming video. Whoop, whoop. But I just want to mention, let me grab some colors here. God. See, got it. Five H N. It's like a song. The up arrow. If you guys could see how few drills are left in my uh, Elizabeth Ward. I'm trying to figure out what I was using right now. Um, it's kind of crazy. Where's number four? Four. All right. Back to the small tray. Um. Ma, 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 ma. Okay. So I am a big proponent and advocate of shopping small and supporting small businesses. And I know a lot of you are as well, whether it's diamond painting related or not, which by the way, this is from Scars and Gem. I will link them down below. And then my Zox bracelet, which if you guys have been here, you see I wear that in every video. Pretty much every video. I shouldn't say every. I'm sure there's some video that hasn't been worn in. But um, I just want to remind people that there's a right way and the wrong way to do things. Okay. Now what I'm stating is not. Oh well that's your opinion only. No no. No no. We're going to talk about. What I like to call. Digital cold calling. Oh my gosh. I'm like stabbing. You ever have this? You just can't get like one. I just need one. Which means now I'm not going to remember where it went. Oh, right there. This is very intricate work. It's probably a terrible idea. If you guys are not watching and you're just listening, which I feel terrible. I just realized I never explained what a whip and chat is. So um, if you've made it this far and you're like, what the hell have I been watching? Uh, you guys are watching me or listening to me, depending on what you're doing do my whip, my work in progress, and chatting. So, you can either watch it or stream it in the background while you're doing other stuff, or you can um, play it while you are working on your current whip, whatever that may be, diamond painting or not. And it is a way to feel like you're just hanging out with a friend. And I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me because I love hanging out with you guys. But let's get back to the digital cold calling. So, as many of you know, I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club, um, which if you didn't know, I'm an affiliate for Diamond Art Club, and if you use code Sparkle Squad, uh, which is all in the notes down below, um, if you're a first-time purchaser, you can use that to save 15% off. Now, 
let me explain something here. There's affiliates and there's brand reps. And this is not just Diamond Painting. This is small shop in general. Um, an affiliate is somebody who typically they are given a code, a discount code, um, for people to use to, to receive a discount on. And in exchange, they receive a perk. Um, usually, if it's an affiliate, you may get affiliate pay. So, for example, if anybody uses my code for Diamond Art Club, I do make a small commission. Um, basically, what they do is they offer the people whose codes are being used the money that was saved. So, I'm not out here, you know, making it rain. <laughs> Far from it. Um, and, to be honest, so many people have purchased that it, it's harder to find people who are first-time buyers than it is to find somebody who's just looking for a regular discount code. Um, I'm very, very appreciative that I was added to the team there. Um, for those who don't know, I had previously applied and been told the program was um, no longer accepting applicants and they didn't foresee it in the future. And then, obviously, things changed. Um, so if you see, for example... Um, if somebody has affiliate links for, if you're watching a fashion video or a makeup video and you see affiliate links for Amazon or whatever shop, they will receive a small commission for you using that code. Sometimes that offers you as the buyer a discount. Sometimes it just is like a click counter so they know how many people are coming to the site because of you. Then you have a brand rep, which, yes, a brand rep receives a discount as well. Um, I can't say always because I've only repped for the shops I've repped for. But I do receive a discount. And I, for example, my one, well, pretty much all the shops that I rep for, we get sneak peeks. So we get to see things before they're sold to the public. That doesn't mean I necessarily have access to them before they hit. But sometimes a shop owner might ask you your opinion. Things like that. So they are different things. Um, and somebody who's like small scale is not going to be able to support themselves on an affiliate ship. Um, and that's fine. You know, if you're doing this to, to make an income off of it, I, I, I would hope that you have... Hundreds of thousands of followers in order to get there. Uh, whether that is on YouTube or elsewhere. So, anyway. Um, one thing that irritates me is what I'm going to be discussing here. It is called digital cold calling. Have you ever gotten those messages on Instagram? Hey, will you like my video? Will you subscribe to my channel? Hey, like my photo. Hey, join this live. Hey, do this. And you've never spoken to that person before. Or if you have, it's been very surface. If a person was calling your house or knocking on your front door trying to get you to buy a product without connecting with you prior, that is cold calling. Okay, it is a business tactic. Nowadays, a lot of people don't do it successfully the way they used to because we all have caller ID or nobody's going to answer the door when they see a stranger and they don't want to come to it you know um, we have other avenues to avoid that so digital cold calling can consist of spamming or DMing or commenting okay if I am putting up a post about Diamond Art Club. On my personal account, my personal page, whatever it may be. And you come in and go, hey, I'm an affiliate. Shop my link. Blah, 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 blah. That's not appropriate. If you and I have never spoken before, if you and I are not friends, if we're not connected in any way, shape, or form, do not message me and ask me to like your post. Do not message me and ask me to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Do not ask me a like for a like. This culture has gotten to the point now where I have had people message me on either my personal account, 
which is the Life with Lindsay, or on my daughter's account, which my daughter has a, a, a repping account, and it's strictly just photos of uh, promotional items and flat lays for the shops that we rep for. And I have had people message me, I like six of your photos, why didn't you like mine back? Okay, that's, that's not how this works. I have had people message me who don't follow me and ask me to subscribe to their YouTube channel. I've had people tag me in their posts in hopes that I will see that I've been tagged and I will like that post. Now, if you are my friend, whether it is online or in real life, and you message me and say, hey, do you mind checking this out? That's a lot different. What I am talking about are when the people are unsolicited and they are just dropping their code or asking you to um, like or subscribe or, you know. I've had so many people who follow my page and then they wait for you to follow them back. Oof, I knew that was going to happen. And then what do you think they do? They un they unfollow you. Because they just want to bolster their own numbers. One thing I'd like to remind you guys, and if you've been around long enough, um, or if you've been to any of my lives, this is not a new conversation. I've had this before, and the fact that I have to keep having it is driving me crazy because it means that people aren't understanding. I saw somebody put up a post... An item from whatever store they purchased it from. And somebody else responded and said, Hey, here's my code. Click this link. Get a discount. That is not your place to do that. Okay? If I see people doing that and then they message people to let them know, that's even more of a no-no. Now, just does everybody realize that? No, clearly not. Do Are there people out there that are going to argue with me and say they see nothing wrong with that? I'm sure because that's the, the world we live in. But just like you wouldn't want people coming up to your door and trying to sell you random things when you tell them I'm not interested, it's the same kind of concept. It's, it's un, unwelcomed and it's inappropriate. If you are in the small shop world, for example, every shop does things differently. So, for example, one of the shops we rep for, they don't want us using our personal codes when we post in the VIP. You can tell people, hey, mention your favorite rep in the notes. Okay? But I can't tell them to mention my kid's name in the notes, but I can craft it so that if you weren't sure what my kid's name was, you'd get it from the post. Okay? Then there's other shops that say, go ahead, everybody, drop your code. I've had situations where there are shops where I am helping a customer. This is all on a, a thread. And I might say, you know, let's Susie. Okay, Susie, you know, you can order this. I'll tag you here. If you need a code, this is my code. If you have any further questions, don't feel feel free to tag me or shoot me a, a private message. And then I'll see somebody responding underneath it. Hey, make sure you use code Jessica. Excuse me, what am I doing? I'm doing the legwork. You can't just come in and try to jump in on that. It's the same thing. If somebody is saying, go ahead and drop your code here, then drop your code here. Otherwise, take it as that's a personal post. Also, if you message me and ask me to like your video, subscribe to your channel, and we've never spoken, I'm not going to do that. I have gotten to where I am, and I say that as if I'm, like, really far, you guys. Uh-oh, what just happened? I'm not sure if whatever just popped up on my screen is affecting this video, so be right back. And we're back. Um, something just popped up on my screen, and I wasn't sure if it was telling me it was a storage issue or not. Um, I'm hoping that... When I put this all together, that part of the file didn't disappear. But, um, I just moved it to my SD card, so fingers crossed. I also don't remember where I left off. So, 
that's fun. Um, digital cold calling. I know I was talking about that. But I have not gotten to where I am. And I say that as if I'm anywhere special. You know, I don't have a lot of subscribers. I have a very small channel. I have a very normal sized following on social media. Um, but I have never gotten people to follow me or like me or do anything like that because I've messaged them without them asking. Like I've had people DM me and go, Hey, you know, what was the link to your channel? Something like that. That's fine. I'll give it to them. Um, which I have the link for everything in my bio on Instagram and then everything that I, for the most part is in the description down below. Um, if you ever see that I'm mentioning something and I have forgotten to post it in there, please just let me know. I am human just like you guys, and sometimes I miss things. Especially on these longer videos like this, I may not have the chance to fully play it back. Um, unless I know I have a ton to edit. And in case anyone was curious, my idea of editing is just putting information like on the screen. I'm not making multiple clips and then cutting and pasting and I'm not that tech savvy you guys and I want this to be as you know authentic as it can be anyway um so you will see I've gotten here by simply being myself and doing my own promotion on my own stories or having my friends out of the goodness of their own heart promote me on their stories or tag me in their stories or on Facebook, things like that. I've never once paid for advertisement or spammed people. Um, and everybody does things differently and I, I'm well aware of that. And I just want to remind everyone who's watching this or listening to this, you do you boo, that your self-worth is not measured in likes. We live in such a digital age that everybody bases themselves off of the number of likes a photo gets or the number of views a video gets or the number of followers or subscribers. Um, is it great when that number goes up? Absolutely. But is it going to affect my view of myself because I put up a video that, you know, nobody seemed to like? No. Every single time I have posted a whip and chat on this particular painting, this old shoe house, it gets a thumbs down. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the same person. Is it preventing me from making more? No, of course not. You see me here making my, what, fifth of this? Which I know some people are probably ready to see me working on something else. And I get it. But I don't work on multiple canvases at a time. So I promise as soon as this is done, I'll be working on something else. Um, and I will have more videos coming soon for the Alice in the Winter Wonderland as well. Um, so there will be some videos on that as well. And if you guys haven't noticed, I've got all sorts of other content on the channel that's not just diamond painting related. I have more small shop stuff coming. Um... The KiwiCo boxes, which if you look at the actual numbers, seems to be the videos people didn't care for. But then once people watched me on Instagram doing the project, they seemed much more into it. So I'm going to continue to make content that I hope that you guys like. But if I make content that you guys don't enjoy... And you let me know that, and it's a resounding, hey, we don't like this. You know, that's one thing. But I'm not going to go home and say, what did I do wrong because people don't like this video? What did I do wrong that this photo had more likes than this one? Nothing. That's just the way life is. And maybe it's because I'm at a, you know, a different age than other people are or, or not. Because, like, I have no idea. You could be the exact same age as me. Shout out to anyone born in the same year that I was born. Am I going to tell you? Nope. But if you ask me, I might. <laughs> um, it's just one of those things that the digital age has made people behave in ways that would otherwise be unacceptable. 
Um, and not just in the world of crafts or, you know, things like that. Uh, the level of online bullying has gone up. The amount of young people who have their own social media these days has gone up. Um, and that, I guess that's a conversation for a different day. And, um, you know, I'm not here to tell you how to live your life or parent your child. That's totally your call. Um, oh. Pretty sure I just knocked up the same color I just put down. So if anyone is curious, quick side note here, of um, what I did for this section, it's very pretty basic. I just did all of the colors first, and then these little bits here are my AB drills. And I do that because... Um, I find you have, your drills don't get scratched as much if you put the regular ones down first and then the ABs after. And if you don't know what an AB drill is, it is an Aurora Borealis. It's the one that have the super sparkly coating on them. You guys can see it catching the light. So, anyway, so I just really wanted to get that off my chest. It's really been bothering me. I've been seeing it more and more. And I'm not sure why people think it's acceptable to promote themselves on somebody else's page unless it was asked of them. Um, some of the small shops that I frequent or uh, hang out in the VIPs of, they will have threads where, hey, what do you sell or make or create? And they want you to promote yourself. And that's amazing, but that doesn't mean that every other day of the week you can <sighs> Sorry. It doesn't mean that every other day of the week you can walk into like a denim shop, for example, and be like, buy my bows. Here's my bow shop. Some shops, by the way, and this is all if you own a shop, you make the rules. That's how it works. Um There we go. Maybe. I'm struggling a little bit, you guys. If you own a shop, you make the rules. So, one shop that I like to frequent, she was getting a lot of people using it to promote themselves rather than actually purchasing any of her items. And she's made it now so that you can't promote any other items in her shop. Or tag any other shop. And those are just her rules. Take it or leave it. If you have a problem with it, then obviously you're not going to be posting in there in the first place. But being a small business owner, you are already struggling with... You want to get the customers and the clientele. And you want people to feel welcome. If you are doing everything right on your end... And then someone else comes in and they're like, hey, buy my thing instead. Or, hey, here's my code, even though 15 other people said theirs. It's not appropriate. And as a consumer, it's overwhelming. Um, I don't like purchasing from shops where if I ask a question and, you know, Amanda answers me. And then I have Tom, Dick, and Harry all jumping in on top of it. Let the one person help me, and if they can't, then we can ask for additional help. But don't overwhelm the customers. And that's what people are doing with throwing their information into the pot when it's not the right place or time. Um, if anybody wants any tips or tricks on AB drills, one thing I will recommend is make sure your wax is dirty. Um... If you have ever tried to pick up AB drills with fresh wax in your pen, the wax will be sucked right out. And I know a lot of people like tweezers for working on their, with their AB drills. Um, personally, that's not my preference. Oh, there's a yellow one. And I know that because I just used it. 
Um, so that's my, my little actual diamond painting tip for the day. But I just want this world to be better than it is. Uh, you know, if you guys ever have any questions of, if you think, is this right or is this wrong? Then, you know, I think you've answered your own question. If you see nothing wrong with the things I'm discussing, I mean, you're entitled to your own opinion. Um, you know, another version of that digital cold calling. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but there's so many people that are so hungry to build up their following on YouTube that they will go to everybody's video that they can find and they will leave their information in the notes. In the comments, hey, check out my video. Hey, I did a video on this too. Hey, come check this out. It's not the right place or time to do it. <sighs> this is a personal preference, you guys. Sorry. That one, it, most of the coating had come off. So, um, Diamond Art Club always gives you extra. So... I'm not worried about losing an extra drill. Um, but if you want to build yourself up, then you have to build yourself up on your own platform. Don't build yourself on anyone else's. Don't ride someone else's coattails. Um, and I really, like I said, I just want to, I just want this place to be a happier place. And I know everybody has their own thoughts and their beliefs and, you know, what they believe is right and what they believe is wrong. But at the end of the day, gaining attention in the wrong place isn't necessarily going to help. Does that make sense? Has any of this made sense? I feel like I'm rambling like a crazy lady, as usual. Um, so, I'm going to continue to chat with you guys while I put some of my drills away. As long as that's cool with you. If you have made it this far, tell me what your favorite thing about the fall time is. Um, I know my friends who live on the other side of the world are not in fall like we are. Um, and if any of my Australian peeps are watching right now, hey! But we are... So, this is... um my fun organization here, you guys. I keep mine in number order. Like DMC code. So if I am slow, well, what's new? But if I'm slow, it's because I'm trying to put them in clusters here. 39, 40, 12, I can't remember if that goes there or there, but I really just wanted to get some of this off my chest. I've talked about this a lot on my lives before, um, and I know some people are not going to care, and they're going to continue to go about their business and do things the way they want to do it, and, you know, I tried, you know, the best I could. there for it now and I I realize now that while I'm doing this is probably not quite that entertaining to watch me put stuff away but um I mean people like kidding down videos right <laughs> 34 all right let's see so 2021 I know you guys are gonna go over there let's put that there but my favorite thing about fall um I love the weather, the crisp air, at least where I live. I can't speak for where you guys live. But where I live, it, the crisp air is just, I love it. You know that weather, you can just go outside and have a nice little hoodie on. But it's not not too, too cold that you need a winter jacket yet. Like, I love that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now a nine goes here, and then I have ten. So eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight
13. 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yes. Okay. Sometimes it's just finding like the little ones that fit in. I have so many of these big containers. They just have to be in the right spot or they won't fit. You know what I mean? But yeah, I love, I love that. The crisp air. Um, and we do get winter temperatures here. I live in an area that has four seasons. Sometimes all of them in a week. Sometimes all of them in a day. Uh, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Where is 34? Here we go. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Guys, we're getting there. 41, 42, 43, 44. This one I go on that bottom one. I do have two of these out on my desk right now. And then what I will do is I will shift my whole canvas this way and I will pull the next section up. Um, just move some stuff. See, I'm not organized. If you guys have any like tried and true organization tips, let me know because I'm not organized at all. Um, neither here nor there. So I will let's see if I can tilt you up real quick. This whole piece, I'll fold that up, and then I'll cut off the extra and keep going. Um, sorry if I'm making you guys look at that shimmer. That's unreal. I love it. Isn't that one of our favorite parts of the diamond painting? It's the way it looks. So, I totally just forgot my train of thought, as usual. Um, if you guys have made it all the way to the end, I'm going to give this to be a space. Tell me... One YouTuber that you think everybody else should check out. One. Please don't promote yourself. Um, please promote somebody that you admire and think other people should check them out. Um, that they should be on our radars. So, with that being said, we are done for this section. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being here. Um, if anyone's wondering what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just feeling if there's any that are raised, uh, especially with squares, you want to make sure they fit nicely. And if I find any that are pushed up a little bit, I just use my drill pen and wiggle it in. Anyway, that being said, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I do really love and appreciate each and every one of you, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all of your support and all of your kind words, uh, whether it be here on my channel or on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, the info is down below. Make sure you do so. Come say hey. Hop into one of my lives. I will be doing a YouTube live. I have not figured out all the details, but... I hope that you guys will all join me for that. So while you're here, make sure to give this video two thumbs up, one real life, one virtual. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join and hit that bell. Join the notifications. Join the notifications. I'm just jumbling everything. Make sure you subscribe and join the Sparkle Squad <laughs> and hit that bell so you don't get, you don't miss any notifications. There we go, Lindsay. Sometimes you can get things right. Um, I do not upload on a schedule. I operate during sleep time so when my child is sleeping or when she is sleeping so that would be nap time and after bed um i do the best that i can and i hope that you guys appreciate it so thank you guys so much for being here and i'll see you on my next one bye